First of all, welcome everybody to My AI Live. Today is Monday, uh, May 7th. No, Tuesday. I'm on Monday still. Tuesday, May 7th. And uh, today is a really beautiful, beautiful day for transformation. So uh, as all of you know, we do this every Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific. We have a great, oh, thank you, Mike. You're so sweet. Um, we have a lot of uh, great stuff that we do here during the week. Now, first of all, I want to make sure we get questions answered. Second of all, many of you have uh, requested some Canva help. I've got some stuff on the way to you this week. I finally got, you know, I was able to get some stuff together for you. Um, so I've got that. And let's see, let's do this. Tuesday's transformation. Transformation Tuesdays, um, it works really, really well. Any foodies here for posts? Anybody like to do food posts, talk about food? Taco Tuesday, Tuesday's famous for tacos. Everybody has tacos on Tuesday. Um, if you are a person who does low carb or keto, sharing a low carb or keto taco recipe works really well on Tuesdays. If you are in uh Trisha, Facebook me and I will get I'll show I'll get that to you. Um and Dale, same thing. Just send me a Facebook message and I'll get those over, I'll get the canvas stuff over to you. Um, so hashtags for Tuesday, transformation Tuesday, taco Tuesday. Let me know in the chat what your idea for a hashtag for Tuesday would be. Remember, we share all of this together. And I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we're going to start talking about this. So let me get my screen shared and here we go. So when we log into the Now Site system, we know there's three things that we do. We post on social media, we comment and post, and we start conversations. All these different ways of making a post now, right? So we've got caption and suggested image. That's when we don't have our image. Make it our own. Maybe you saw a post from somebody else that you really like and you can go ahead and use that. Selfie AI and caption my image. The AI is going to look at your image and actually write the post based on your image. Short text only posts work great for starting quick conversations. These work really well on Tuesdays also, especially, you know, asking for Taco Tuesday tips and ideas to make great tacos. What's your favorite meat to make a taco with? You know, anything that starts a conversation to get your algorithm up. Remember, Facebook is based on responses. So as people are commenting and you're commenting back, the back and forth really does a number for getting your algorithm uh, in a way that shows your post to more people. Caption my videos, great. Long post and suggested image is still one of my favorites. My favorites are probably selfie AI and long post and suggested image. Um, those two are the ones that are most important to me. So what I'd like to do today is something a little different. I'd like to help one of you make a post. So anybody have an idea for a post that you would like to do? I'm thinking Diane. Diane, do you want to play with me today? Yeah? Okay. All right. So Diane, you are in a health and wellness company. You are a pretty high up leader there. You're 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 doing pretty phenomenal in your yeah. company. Yes. What what kind of conversations would you like to have today for uh, a Tuesday? Um, I don't know if this would be something. Okay. But I'll just suggest it and see what you think. Sounds great. Um, we've. Just come out with a brand new product to do with iron okay. for um, menopause, etc. Okay. Um, that's got an added probiotic to it. Oh, nice. Okay. So, it's a, yeah, it's uh, especially for menopause, premenopause, etc. People that are short of iron. Okay. So, um, so we're not allowed to say the word anemia, but are, is it basically no. for people that <laughs> yeah. tend to be on the anemic side? Yes. Okay. So uh, low energy, uh, low energy, lack of stamina. Tired. tired. Okay. Um, um, perfect. Yeah. So have you utilized the product yourself so far? I haven't because of my age. Oh, okay. 
but it has been used um, and apparently having great results. Okay. All right. And so, I, I actually wanted to find out just because I do have a bit of tightness whether it would help, but I don't know yet. I haven't had my reply yet. Okay. Up All above. Right. <laughs> Sounds good. So Thank here's you. here's a couple of things that you can do. If okay. you want to showcase a product, my preference is usually you've used it yourself just because you talk yeah. from it from your own standpoint, right? You know what? I can do the multivitamin. Okay. Multivitamin, which is absolutely amazing. Okay. So let's do a product post today and let's talk about the product without talking about the product. Yeah. Okay. That so let's do great. let's do something like that today. So I'm going to share my post or I'm going to share my screen and uh, Diane and I are going to walk through making a post where we want it to lead to a conversation about a product. So do you have a, a do you have a photo that goes with this? Um, the photo of the product or of something that would be related to the product. Me. A picture of you. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Now I just have to find it, of course. Okay. So you find your picture and I'm going to make a caption and suggested image just so that I get the writing for you. Okay. And then we're going to have you make your post. Okay. Can I find the, the picture on my phone? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Caption and suggested image. Okay. And so it's going to speak a little bit more like me, but everybody's going to get the kind of basic things. Now, Diane, why would somebody want to take a multivitamin? Why would taking a vitamin be important? Because our food is depleted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the other reason would be, I would really say we all need a multivitamin, but a lot of over-the-counter stuff has got fillers in mm -hmm. and doesn't work. Okay. I took multivitamins nearly all my life until I tried these. Okay. My so, hair has changed. Yeah. I have hardly any hair. And my now I'm having to I might have to talk to Nina because I my hair's got more. And I don't know what to do with it anymore. <laughs> it's like all of us have to talk to Nina. <laughs> um, Poor Nina. We're going to keep yeah. you so busy. <laughs> my my nails used to break. <laughs> my, my nails used to break. They would bend. They would yeah. break from anything. They are as hard as nails. Okay. Ah, didn't think of that one before. So one approach to talk about your product without talking about your product, okay? Mm -hmm. So you have a couple of options when you're making a product post, okay? Uh, there's an 80-20 rule. Wow, Kathy, your hair looks amazing today. That is so cute on you. Okay, sorry, squirrel. I just saw Kathy because my minions are here. I love her minions, by the way. Like her minions just make me so happy, but your hair looks fantastic. Okay, so... When making a product post and you want to actually talk about one of your products, you have a choice. The 80-20 rule of what we pretty much teach around here is 80% your lifestyle, what's going on, your values, giving tons of value out, and 20% about your product or business, right? Even with that 20% about your product or business, I am not a big fan of talking about a specific product name or company name on my Facebook because somebody then can just go look it up themselves and, you know, whatever and stuff like that. I want to be able to have a conversation with somebody. That is important to me. So for me to talk about the product or have a product conversation, I'm going to actually have a post about health-related things. And then that's going to lead to the product that I'm talking about, okay? But I don't personally use a product name. Now, um, my great friend Jennifer does use her product name on her Facebook and does very well with that also. Neither way is right, neither way is wrong. It's personal preference. So I want everybody to make sure you understand that. So yesterday, Jennifer, uh, we worked on a post with Jennifer. We helped her clean up her photo, if you remember. 
Um, and she did a great product post, you know, that was specifically her product. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do, and I'm going to change this to a long post and suggested image. Diane actually has her own photo, but I want to do tips, okay? And so what I want to do is see, Diane has been in her company for a really long time, high level leader, knows her products really well. So one way that she could talk about her product and the importance for having vitamins, the importance of what's going on with the food and everything else is to do a longer post with like three tips. And then she could say, hey, you know, at the end, hey, I've got some great, I, I've got some uh, great, some other great tips for you. Just message me below and I'll send you, you know, the info. And then she can have a conversation, of course, about the product. The way Ray Higdon teaches this is that when somebody messages you, you don't automatically, and I'm going to give you this real quick because I think this is really important for this teaching today, if I can get this off here. So this is what Ray Higdon taught me. Everybody knows Ray Higdon, right? Okay. So this is what Ray Higdon taught me. When somebody messages from one of these posts like this and asks for the information that you are that you were talking about, he always said, Always say to them, yep, I can get that to you as soon as I get back to my computer and then start a conversation with them back and forth, not giving them the information immediately. Here's the reason why he teaches that. Number one, if when they message you and you get that um, and and, they, and you just send it back to them, that's the end of the, the conversation, right? They got what they wanted. That's pretty much the end of the conversation. Now you're trying to start another conversation. If you hold off and say, even if you're you know, near your computer, just, hey, when I get back to my computer, I'm definitely gonna send that to you. And you continue the conversation of what, what was it exactly that you were looking for? I wanna make sure that I get the right you know, tips for you. Start that conversation back and forth. Now, he always says that he talks to them for quite a while, actually, before he sends that out. And he usually sends them the info the next day. So that is the way Ray Higdon taught me how to do this. So I'm going to show you the post that can start the conversation so Diane can do this today with anybody who makes this request. So Thank we're going to share our screen. And we're going to come over here. And I am going to do a long post with suggested image for the tips. What do I want the post to be about? Um, the land is depleted of nutrients. Can't spell today. That are important to our bodies. I remember being tired and just plain exhausted. My hair was thin and my nails always. All right, let's see what this does so first, okay. Okay, so let's take this and then generate. Now, sometimes when you're doing a long post like this, it can take a little bit of back and forth with the AI right to get it just right. Now, most of the time you can use it just as, but I tend to like things very specific. So I'll work with it a little bit, which takes a little bit longer than the five minutes, but it's 100% worth it to have the kind of conversations that you wanna have. So we're gonna let the AI go ahead and make this. Now, here's one key that you wanna remember. Even if you're using your own photo, you absolutely can use long post and suggested image and not use the suggested image and still get the longer post, right? So let's see what it comes up with for tips. And remember, we can always put some of our own tips in there. We could put some of our own things in there. There's a lot we can do with a long post and suggested image. It's the reason why it's one of my you favorites. Did, you just, where did you put tips in though? At the very bottom, I said, uh, here are some tips. 
So I'll show you the post down here where I said, what do I want the post to be about? Okay. Now you can at the very beginning say that, but here's where I said, here are some tips to help you do the same. Okay. okay? Now we could do it both ways without tips and with tips and see how that works. But let's look at this one first. Feeling exhausted, how nourishing my body transformed my life. Once upon a time, I was constantly tired, battling endless fatigue that no amount of sleep could fix. My hair resembled autumn leaves, thin and lifeless, and my nails, they could barely hold on without breaking and splitting. I felt like a mystery I couldn't solve until a dear friend shared some life-changing advice with me. Now imagine waking up feeling invigorated. With hair so lush, it rivals shampoo uh, shampoo commercial and nails so strong they never chip. Sounds like a dream well, it became my reality. And here's how to make it yours too. Now, here are the, the tips. This is a little long. I may go and do this and rewrite this and make the tips, make each tip, less than two two sentences or less this is so great thank you you are welcome we're gonna have some fun i want to start teaching we we don't i don't want to keep it basic i mean i want to do remind everybody the basics but i want to show you some other things that can be done with this too so all right so we're going to ask this to rewrite this and make the tips shorter Okay, because the tips are too long. And Diane may want to change these tips. Okay, so look at this. Feeling exhausted, tired, oh. run down. Imagine waking up energized with lustrous hair and incredible days. That's my reality. Mm -hmm. So it can, and now's my, and it can't be yours too. And then you could write, here are some tips. I would take the whole foods of one out and I would say, Take a multivitamin that actually works. Tell a little bit about your vitamin there. Um, if you want more info, message me below and I will do that. And I would put the vitamin probably at the end and say, stay hydrated. Uh, the vitamin, maybe even take lived by all it's out. So let's just show you how we would put this together, Diane. So it's not so uh, abstract. Um, okay. I want to see, I want to see the wording. Yeah, so let's come over here to Facebook. So what we would do is feeling exhausted. I'm going to do this. Now sometimes you don't like the title. Anybody sometimes don't like the title like me? Like sometimes I'm like I don't need a title, right? Mhm. Mm I am going to take that out. Feeling exhausted. I was tired and run down with fragile hair and nails, but I found the secret to renewing my vitality. Imagine waking up, it uh, energized. I'm going to say, and I'm going to even take that part out, energized, but you're waking up to energize. This is now my reality and your it could be yours too here are some tips to follow okay number one i'm going to put right here and say your vitamin matters because how many people take vitamins right Okay. I cannot so, convince my mother not to take Centrum. I shouldn't say that on the word on there, but I, I, I like tell her like, mom, this, this is not, this isn't what you need. And like, you know, it, it's hard, right? So here's your first thing, your vitamin matters. And then you would put in here what you would want to say about your vitamin that makes it so much different, right? Stay hydrated, live balanced. And then uh, embrace these changes to lead a transformation so profound everyone notices. This journey to going back to basics revitalized not just my appearance, but my entire life. And then 
I would take this out personally and I would say, if you want to know exactly how I did this, please message me. I'm happy to send you the info about the vitamin that I found that helped me or something like that. And then you put a post down below and then DM me. Does that make sense, Diane? Yeah, because the okay. vitamin the vitamin is really, really good. It so, takes the nutrients out of the food. So here's the thing. Do you see the difference, Diane, of using the now site to put your wording of what you want to talk about within some tips and stuff like that, where you can have the conversation as opposed to just saying, here's my product, buy my product. Do you see how that oh, you yeah, get a different sure. reaction for that? I've, okay. yeah, I've, I've <clears throat> be honest in saying, I've had a lot more conversations with people, but funnily enough, not on the computer as much. Okay. But people have called me and said, hey, what are you doing? Love it. Love it. And, yes. Um, yeah. And my neighbors, my neighbors have been watching me for all the time I've been here, which is about four years. And they contacted me this week and said, we need what you've got. Wow. Congratulations. And then, and then you know, and I, I, so I spoke to her, but then I, and then she came back and she said, I think we both want to come. Yes. So, you know, it, it is the more you're out there, the, right. yeah. I mean, you have the other people that can be a, <laughs> yeah and, and remember it 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 builds upon time right this is why yeah. we're always talking about For consistency sure. you make these kinds of posts consistently you're consistently giving your value you're consistently showing up as this leader and then people will take notice it's the ones that are inconsistent and then they don't get results and they're like well this doesn't work and it's like you weren't consistent enough to for anybody to change their I identity of you and their view of right. you Right. Had yeah. That person yesterday. Yep. As well. Yep. Okay. Uh, so Diane, uh, Nina made a great suggestion. Also, a before and after okay, photo of your see. hair would be great. Your hair, and nails, and stuff like that. If you have a before and after of what you look like before uh, and after, I will have to look for it. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Nina. And I saw You're there good. was a message that came through. From Nina, did you just send send it privately? I sent you a message on Facebook. <laughs> okay, perfect. Perfect. All right. So let's go ahead and put five minutes on the clock. Let's go make our own posts now, okay? So remember, if you want to have a post about a product, you can do what Jennifer did yesterday where she just posted about her product. And that's one kind of post. Another way to get conversations going towards your product is to give tips that are related to something about the product and then offer the information for that, right? So we can post to Facebook, we can post to LinkedIn, we can post to Twitter, whatever we want to do. Let's go ahead and do our post for five minutes. If you have questions, go ahead and throw your digital hand up. We're going to showcase some posts. So if you have some posts that you'd like me to go over with you to show you some things that you could do differently or just show you uh, to show off your post, please put your link in the, uh, the chat down here and then raise your digital hand so that we can do that. Let me get the five minute timer up and I'm going to start answering questions while people are doing their posts. And remember, if you do your posts every day with us five days a week, you're going to get some real consistency going. So let's do that. All right. Pamela, did you have a question? First of all, that photo is gorgeous of you. Thank you. Wow. Stunning. <laughs> yes, I had a question. Um, I don't have a product. I have a service that I provide. Beautiful. And I've been posting. I've been posting. But I don't get the attraction that I would love like to have okay so how would i change that perfect are you on facebook instagram or where Where are you mostly building all three of them it's okay what, what's your facebook link oh hold on can you put it in the chat for me and we'll go over to your facebook if you want sure um how do i find my facebook link so go to your Facebook profile page where it's your banner on there and then just copy the URL at the top. 
And while you're finding that, I'm going to answer Bruce's question real quick. Hey, Bruce. Morning. Good morning. So let's see. Let's go over to your post real quick while Pamela is looking up hers. And. Okay, beautiful. So we have this post right here. Oh, wow. Stunning picture, first of all. Transform your Tuesdays into a pivotal moment of a healthier you. Incorporating nitric oxide supplements at bedtime could be your secret weapon for better blood flow and healthier blood vessels. Remember, the journey to wellness starts with small, consistent steps. Let's take that together tonight, DM or comment for details. So one thing I would do, Bruce, is I would put more of your story of why you started this yourself and why this was important to you. So when we just talk about, um, you know, incorporate nit nitric oxide supplements at bedtime could be your secret weapon for better blood flow and healthier blood vessels. People could just go like this and just go research it and then go buy a nitric oxide supplement somewhere else. So what I would probably say is, uh, um, um, so is the, the point of the supplement that it increases your nitric oxide? Is that what it does, Bruce? Right. And that helps your, the tissue, the muscle tissue in your blood vessels to be clear, removes plaque and, and just makes it healthier supplement. And it's, um, uh, it's, it's designed because as you as we get older, we don't make nitric oxide as much. Therefore, we have heart attacks more during our sleeping time when the production of nitric oxide goes down. But it, it just creates better blood flow. It's like comparing uh, a, a garden hose left out in the summer all along. It's dry and brittle and cracky uh, and then full of stuff. Whereas you keep it stored in the shade, it's nice and supple. That's that's okay. what it's that's what's happening. Okay, so you get better you get better flow. So. Okay, so one thing that would be um, probably, see, see, here's the thing. If you have your Herbalife independent distributor here, somebody could probably figure out that it's from Herbalife. Not, not a giant deal. Um, I would probably say, I don't know if I would put incorporating nitric oxide supplements because the moment you say supplement, it's like I can go look for a supplement and I don't need you. I would probably say raising nitric oxide levels at bedtime could be your secret weapon. And then at, underneath of that, put my own story of why that was important to me. Compliantly, of course, you know, we do not cure diseases. We can't say that, but we're supporting a healthy body. We're supporting this. So I would probably put something that's a little bit more important. The other thing I probably would do, I love this photo. But if I saw you in there or something of you with kind of this idea, I would have more of a connection to you. So th those are some things I would probably try. Um, I avoid saying supplement in any post personally, uh, total, totally ever. Because for me, it's like the moment that I say that anybody can go look it up on the internet and then they don't need to have a conversation with me. And if they're a researcher like me, they'll just go research a whole bunch of stuff, think they figured it out. And it's not the same thing as what you're talking about. So that's kind of the idea how I would do that. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Pamela, where are you at, hon? I'll put it in the chat. Beautiful. All right. So let's go over to Pamela real quick. And all right, first, love the photo. I don't know why it's up there. So if, if I'm just yes. going to evaluate, first, do I have permission to evaluate your Facebook? Yes, 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 definitely. Okay, perfect. Okay, so first, I love the photo. However, I don't know why it's there. So it doesn't make sense to me, except it's a pretty photo. Maybe perfect. you want to go there. Maybe you've been there. I don't know why. So if you're going to use a personal photo like this that you've taken yourself or of something that's important to you, putting some writing of something that may that brings a story to it on the photo is very helpful. Okay. Second, okay, facts. Some people share their problems, not solutions, but for sympathy. This does nothing. 
And the reason it doesn't do anything is because there's not a question at the end of it. So I don't know if I'm supposed to comment on it. I don't know if, I don't know why, why, what I'm supposed to do with this. Okay. So, I, so questions would be great. Um, And then when, when you're about to make a post and this is for everybody, anytime you're going to make a post, first of all, ask yourself, am I providing value for somebody that they're going to learn something from this? Will it make people want to see more of my posts? Those are the first two questions. And then the last one is, will it start conversations for me after this? Okay. So those are your three things that you always want to think about. Um, I, I 100% agree with what you said here. Some people share problems, not their, not so, for solutions, but for sympathy. Absolutely. The person who's doing this is going to feel offended and unfriend you or unfollow you or just not bother. Right. The person who likes this probably isn't the person you're trying to target who needs your help anyways. Okay. So I don't know if this is the kind of post I would put on there. Uh, just this past week, legal shade went into court for me and got my traffic ticket dismissed worth every penny. Testimonial. I like that. So you're in legal shield, I'm guessing. Yes. Um, I would probably put a photo with this okay. as a, I want to congratulate my client who won a traffic ticket, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then there, here's her story below. Remember, you can always fight for your rights or something like that as a PSA, you know, uh, more type thing. Okay. The problem is, is that when I come down like this, I don't see a photo. So I almost skipped over it. Gotcha. Okay. So what is made in you thrive consulting? This doesn't that I don't I was just Yeah, I was just sharing something for somebody on my page. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, so let's come over here. Happy Mindset Monday. Ever find yourself waking up feeling like today is the brace of freedom? I sure do. I would just put some more white space in between here so it doesn't look so packed in and so hard to read. And no photo. Okay. So I I am absolutely not against, you know, or, or, I, or I'm not against, you know, we signed up for Legal Shield and blah, blah, blah. The way I would probably do this more is, hey, another client of mine had a win. This is their testimony. Remember, you can always fight for your rights. Make sure you're covered. If you have questions, I'm here to help you, you know, kind of thing. More like announcing victories and public service announcements. That's okay. probably start off with those this week. And then next week, let's reevaluate. Let, let's just work on this together and we'll get your, we'll get your algorithm up and we'll get you. And remember asking questions at the end of things. What, what is something you fought that you're fighting right now? What is something that you feel like you need? How can I help you? Always asking questions. If you ask a lot of questions, it gives me the opportunity to think and say, oh, I can write this in the comments and know that you'll respond. Okay. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for being here today. I appreciate it. I hope everybody <laughs> learned a lot from that. And pumpkin alarm starting to go off. So we've got to get going really quick. But Diane, did you have another question, honey? Um, I just want to say this morning was absolutely amazing. Yeah. And I'm going to work on mine. I don't want to just rush it. Okay, because yeah. I'm a bit slower and maybe I can showcase it tomorrow. Perfect. I would love that. Yeah. And um, yeah, please make sure that you let us know when you're going to do the banner because I know that I would like some changes there, but I don't know what to do. Perfect. Yes. Uh, that's part of the Canvas stuff that I have for you. So you messaged me, right, to, to get that sent to you because my, my oh, okay. assistant's going to start messaging. So. Throw me a message in Facebook. My assistant's going to help start shoving, getting those out for me. Thank you so much. You awesome. Is this, is this for amazing. everybody? Yeah, Would just feel free to message me. Yeah, sure. Oh, definitely. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome. I love this community. <laughs> We had fun together. And remember, we're all doing this together, right? We're learning together. Hey, Clay yeah. in Colorado. I have an off the wall question. An off the wall, not on the wall question, but an yeah. off the wall question. Hey, I opened my Facebook account years ago. Mm -hmm. 
I can get on my Facebook on my computer, but I can't get it on my phone. And I can't remember what email I use. I think I know the password I use. I went to help and they said they would email you. How, how do I find that out? Perfect. On, on the computer. Right. So when you go into the computer over on the right hand side, I mean, there's only so much I can show you because I can't show you my personal account information. But right. when you come over to you. And so go over to settings and privacy. Hold on one second. So you're going to click on your name and I'll show you some basic things. Settings. OK, so click. On and my then uh, hold on one second. Blocking. Pass personal details, password and security. That's my profile. Hold on a second. Um, okay, I'm in settings and privacy right now. Okay. Um, password and security. Change password. Personal details. Okay. okay. So when you go, so when you go into password and security over on the left hand side under account center you're going to go to personal details right okay. under password and security and that's where you'll find your email addresses okay hang on i hit settings and privacy and i'm seeing settings is that where i go to find so password security when you when you click when you click on your photo at the top right go right. to settings and privacy okay and then click on settings Okay. And then when you do, over on the left-hand side, you'll see Meta, Account Center, Personal Details, Password and Security. Okay, I'm not seeing. Are you on a Mac? It doesn't matter if you're on a Mac or if you're on. I, on settings and privacy, I see Privacy Checkup, okay. Privacy okay. Center. Okay, follow along with me, Clay. Okay. Follow along with me. You're right here on Facebook. You're going to come over here and you're going to click settings and privacy. Okay. Then you're going to click settings. Okay. When you do, you end up on this page and over here on the left side, you see meta account center. Right. Click on personal details. Okay. And then that'll and from show. there, I can't show just because. Okay. Now, from personal details, you're going to have on the left-hand side where it says account center, it says profiles, connected experiences, then under that it says account settings, passwords and security, and okay. then personal details. Account center, then what? Do you see over on the left-hand side where it says I, meta and account center? Yeah, but I'm taking notes. So meta... Don't take notes. Follow me along. Okay. Hang on a second. Because okay. I've got a hard stop, so I got to get you through this. Okay, over on the left-hand side where it says pro. I just clicked on that. I hit password security. Hit the one below it, personal details. Okay. When you hit personal details over on the right-hand side, you'll see the emails that are associated with your account. Okay. And then how do I? Go to password and security to change your password. Okay. Got, you know, and I'm, I'm, I can't, the reason I do this, because I can't, you know, get it on my phone and I put in that email that's on there. You can change your password in the computer version, in the, on the computer, and then know your password for all things. And then I'd recommend something like one password to keep that information. So you never forget your password I, again. I use the same password for everything. Okay. You're Shouldn't welcome. do that. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, Clyde. Well, All right. Last work. question for today. Last question for today, Sam. First, thank you for making me think instead of just post. You're welcome. Hey, really hitting a home run. This is outside of that, though. Okay. I just upgraded to marketing AI. Okay. Does Nowside put together a website for you that you can work with them on? They do. How do they I reach will. out and do that? I'll show you where to find that. Um, you're going to come over here. Over on the right-hand side, when yep. you're on the home page, if you come over to the blow horn mm -hmm. and go to marketing, if you come over here to marketing services, okay. they'll build a website, write an email, write a blog, 
make your SMS and you just click on build a website, they'll build it for you. You just got to give them all the information. So when you click on that, what the business name is, language, affiliate link or anything else, and they'll walk you through some steps of some information and then uh, they, they will make the site for you. My hero, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for being here. All right, I have got a hard, so well, Nina. Hi, really quickly. Yeah. I love using the the um, suggested image as you suggested for my own images. Yeah. It will not let me on my computer, it will not let me add the photos. It I, it says, you know, down uh, drop down image or whatever. I end up having to do it a completely different way where I have to copy paste, blah, blah, blah. so complicated. Okay. It, stop, it, stop, stop, yeah. stop. Yeah. Add photos to what? I have no clue what you're talking about. Are you talking about adding photos to the AI or adding photos to Facebook? On, or No, no, no. On now site, when you go through and do the suggested image and then it pulls up where you can say edit images or add images or, you know, your own images. And then it says drop images here. There's a thing and it says or select. It will not let me drop an image into that. Okay, so hold on a second. I've tried for a month, every single day. So if you're doing caption and suggested image, you are trying to use their image, not your own image. No, I'm trying to then, I go to my own image. I change the image like you suggested. Oh, so you're getting a different image of theirs, but it's still their image. Nope, I go to it. It's got their okay, image. Okay, Nina, Nina, honey. Are you trying to use one of your own images that's on a phone or are you trying to use one of now sites images that is in the program? I'm trying to add my own image that's on my computer in my photo library. And it says, drop your image here or okay. select. Right. It will not drop it. Okay. If you're trying to use your own image, what is it that you are attempting for the now site program to do? Are you trying to put your words on your own image or something? Or are you trying what are you trying to manipulate your image with the now site program? Yeah. I'm trying to do what you do where you take your image that you love and add stuff to it. Perfect. One, All right, give me one perfect. second, I'll walk you through it. Right. Once the image is in there, I know how to do that. That part's fine. It's that it won't let me drop an image in in a very easy way. Did you click to upload an image? Yes, do and all you that. Can upload, and you can upload it? It. I'm telling you, it's, I have to copy and paste it and add it in the select and put it into a note for it to accept it. It won't let it just accept it. But we can deal with this another day. It's complicated, obviously. Well, it doesn't make any sense because I, if there's a bug, it needs to be reported, but it, it it worked the other day. So hold on one second. Okay. So here we are with the image. I'm going to share my screen. Change image. I really got to get off of here. Hold on one second. Okay. I'm going to go over to my images. Yep. I'm going to upload to select an image. Yep. I will upload. The box for Mac comes up. I click one of my photos. Um, so maybe I'm missing one. When it says drop images to upload or select, I've been trying to do one or the other. I figure if I press it, it goes to, I should be able to if just you, pop if, you, if you click select, the box for Mac opens up for you to select a photo. It's doing it for me right now. Right. So if so, it's not doing it for you, send them a message to support at now.site and tell them that it's not working for you and there's a bug somewhere. Okay. The select works, but where it says drop image, doesn't that mean I can just drag and drop an image in there? Yeah, may, maybe, but I've never tried to do that. I've always just uploaded it. But I've been, that's what doesn't work. Anyway, tell them to put a separate area where we can just have images and drop them in and it doesn't have to go through select. That would be awesome. Okay, love you. You're amazing. Thank you. <laughs> I think that's probably low on the list right now, but I'll tell you, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of other bigger things that we're working on. Okay, 
Thank you so much, everybody. I have got to go to my next training. I love you all. We will uh, be back tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific on my AI Live. Bring your questions, bring bring your things. And if you want to do a, if you want to play with me one of these days, like we did with Diane with one of your posts, let me know. Uh, would love to do that and have an amazing day. Love you, love you, love you guys. Feel free to unmute. I will see you guys tomorrow. And if any of you are going to ANMP at, in Dallas, May 30th to June 1st, I will be there. I cannot wait to see you, have coffee with you, hang out with you. Let me know if you're going to the Association of Network Marketing Professionals event. Um, everybody will be there, including me. So have a great day, everybody. Love you all. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.